In order to check for parasite battery drain on a C4 Corvette, you're going to need a volt ohm meter, and this is a digital volt ohm meter. It's also got the capacity to read up to a 10, 10 ampere uh, draw. Now, when you connect a battery up to a Corvette like that, if you take it and put it in the, the battery position there and then hook it up, you would likely draw over 10 amps and then you would probably blow a uh, fuse in this little volt ohm meter. So, what we need to do is get the battery connected to the uh, light assemblies and let them run and cycle up and, and let the car come to life, which might pull over 10 amps and then uh, get the volt ohm meter involved in the circuit. So the way I'm going to do that is to uh, splice in both a set of battery cables and the, uh, the leads for the volt ohm meter and the battery at one time. Right now is the positive jumper cable connected up to the positive terminal of the battery. We've got the negative jumper cable connected up to the negative terminal of the battery. We've also got a uh, probe from the volt ohm meter uh, stuck between two washers right there as well. And then over where the uh, battery would go, we've got the red jumper cable connected up to the uh, red cable on the uh, battery leads. And as we take the black one and connect it up to this lead, we would expect to hear the uh, light motors run. And we do. And then they will stop. The reason we needed to do that is that likely would pull more than 10 amps and probably blow a fuse in this fold ohm meter. The black cable of the uh, jumpers to the black cable of the car battery uh, cables and the, the uh, lights have ran and the computers have came to life and it's time to take the the probe of a multimeter and insert it into the circuit as well. So at this point you basically have two, uh, two paths from the battery to the uh, negative terminals of the car battery cables if that makes sense. Now you can disconnect this cable and not risk blowing the uh, fuse in the multimeter. So I've taken the uh, negative jumper cable off of the battery post and so the uh, half of the jumper cables now are the circuit. That forces the path of the electricity to go through the volt ohm meter. You can see the positive jumper cable still in, in play and the probe of the volt ohm meter is connected up to the negative terminal of the battery and so then it goes over the meter and, and it connects over here as well. So right now if we put it on a 10 amp scale, it's reading 0 0.07 amps, so that'd be 70 milliamp. And I think that the uh, preferred grain on a C4 Corvette was about 30 to 50, I believe, so we might be just a little bit high, but uh, we're pretty close. I think we probably don't have parasitic battery drain issues here. I think my problems with the battery going dead was just the fact that I had an old tired battery, so we're going to run with it that way and kind of keep an eye on things, but if you need to do testing to see whether or not uh, you've got parasitic battery drain, that would be the way to, to hook up your uh, volt ohm meter. We're having issues with parasitic battery drain. What you'd want to do is come over and take this uh, fuse panel off. And then get in there and pull the fuses one at a time and go over and, and check that multimeter and see when the uh, large amperage drain stops and then you'd know that at least it's on that circuit and you'd know what to look for. And this isn't the only place that fuses are located on a Corvette so you'd have to just find out where all the places that you've got fuses are in the car and, and continue down that path till you find the one circuit that's uh, allowing the battery to drain down.